Yeah, this was a really scary one, Jeff. We're told the victim was trying to learn how to swim last night with a friend who unfortunately also didn't know how to swim. So when he slipped into the deep end on accident, there really wasn't much that friend could do to help him. Well, tonight we spoke with a deputy who was the first on scene to start working on this young man. And eventually, after about 15 minutes, they were able to get his pulse back. It's blazing hot across Southern California and people are cooling off at their community pools, but it only takes a second for the summer fun to take a very serious turn. So serious, I had to pray. Steve Estrada spoke to God last night. You know, give him one more chance, Lord. Asked him to save his neighbor, a 20-year-old man named Juan, who drowned in this Rancho Cucamonga swimming pool. He didn't know how to swim and slipped into the deep end. A neighbor pulled him out and called 911. He was like just pounding on his chest and like blowing through his mouth. It was a miracle. They got his heart beating again. It wasn't me. It was absolutely everybody. Rancho Cucamonga deputy Christina Neff Fergit was the first to start CPR and help bring him back to life. So I was right there when they said we've got a pulse and that was that was the moment that I think we all felt the relief of something's happening. Something's working. Keep doing it. What do you think about that? That's it's really good from, from a deputy. That, that means like that his parents are going to be happy. But it's not that simple. A next door neighbor tells us Juan is in a coma at the hospital. The kids on the block can't believe it. They call Juan a helper. He used to give me money a lot for the ice cream truck. They hope he comes back home soon. So does this deputy. I wish him the best. Absolutely, we all hope that he has a full recovery. And again, that deputy wanted to emphasize that this really was a group effort on the part of multiple first responders and those neighbors out there to save this man's life. Reporting live in Rancho Cucamonga, Nicole Comstock, KCAL 9 News.